This is video of three women performing together here at the Dallas Black Academy of Arts and Letters just last night. When their show was over just before 6 p.m., the women stayed on stage to sign autographs. That is when the shooter took out a gun and shot right at one of them, according to the Academy. Jada Thomas was identified as the victim. She remains in the hospital tonight in stable condition. Stable, stable condition. condition. All right, so look, man, quick video here. You know what? This might not be a quick video. It all depends. But if you haven't heard yet, there's this singer that was shot out in Dallas, Texas. Her name is Jada Arnell. Me personally, I've never heard of her. But after hearing about this news, I went to her page, checked out some of her music, and the girl could sing. I get credit where it's due, right? And she looked good, so she two for two in my book right now. But before even starting this video, I do want to send a speedy recovery out to her. She did survive the shooting. To my understanding, she's in stable condition. Don't quote me on that though. But nonetheless, she is alive and she did survive the shooting. And let's speak about the shooting. Two nights ago, two nights ago, well I sound like Ice Cube, two Fridays ago. Who I think I am, Craig, dude. But nah, let me get serious here. Two days ago, well, two nights ago, this singer, Jada Arnell, she was singing at some performance show, and it's called The B Word. Now, she lost me right there. I gotta have a little more context behind that. That sounds crazy. But I'm pretty sure it's some deeper meaning to it. Probably something like the N word, right? You know how black people, oh yeah. We took the N word and we gave it power. We made it, we made it our own thing. We made it our own thing. Dude, the whole world saying the N word now. We ain't made nothing our own thing. These people done hijacked it from us. They say it more than us. Well, they can't wait to say the N word. But anywho, I'm assuming this is the same thing here with this title for the show, the B word. Maybe they're just putting some type of flip on it. They call me the B word. Well, let me take power of it. Yeah, that's probably what they did. Anyway, it was her along with two other singers. I guess they always perform this show together. And I was right because uh, I'm reading the caption now and she says, with this show, you'll be able to get a, a, a gist of who we are as young women, our journeys and how we have taken the word B and turned it into something positive. You turn word B and turn it into something positive. I gotta hear this, fool. Don't let the title fool you. LOL. Every woman can relate to at least one of our stories, so please come out. There will be a talk back at the end of each show, and you'll be able to ask us questions and about the process. I'm not explaining to anyone why we named the show the B word. You have to buy a ticket for that. And here she shows the show date, uh, October 25th, October blah, 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 November 1st. And this is the date she was uh, shot at here, November 2nd. And this event took place in Dallas, Texas at 1309 Kenton Street. The show ended around 815 that night. So she stuck around, she was signing autographs. And she signed this one particular person's autograph and they're saying a few moments after signing this person's autograph, the person went back to the crowd, pulled out a gun, and just shot her while she was on stage. Crazy, right? Let's check it out. Security changes are going to be made at a Dallas performance venue after police say someone shot a singer on stage right after her concert ended. The victim is recovering tonight. This happened in downtown Dallas at the Black Academy of Arts and Letters right next to the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center. WFAA's Sydney Persing spoke with the director of that venue tonight. An exact motive is still not known tonight, but law enforcement sources tell us the shooter appeared to have mental health issues. What we do know is that she opened fire moments after a performance here ended, taking aim at one of the singers on stage. This is video of three women performing together here at the Dallas Black Academy of Arts and Letters just last night. When their show was over just before 6 p.m., the women stayed on stage to sign autographs. That is when the shooter took out a gun and shot right at one of them, according to the Academy. 
Jada Thomas was identified as the victim. She remains in the hospital tonight in stable condition. The Academy's founder, Curtis King, said Jada has been performing here since she was just 10 years old. He told me he is angry and distraught, confused and disappointed, but does not want one person's actions to ruin the hard work of his young artists. I'm not saying we should not be cognizant of hatred and people like that, but we cannot walk in our life continuing to live in fear because that's not the kind of person that Jada Thomas is. She's not a person that's gonna allow her to live in fear. And she said one thing today, she says, is this going to affect my singing? No, it's not. She was still seen and she was sore. And I met Mr. King outside of Baylor. He's been staying with Jada and said she is showing signs of good progress. Meanwhile, he said he's already been working on rolling out a new safety plan here at the Academy. He said he's been exploring buying metal detectors and also reducing the amount of points of entry to the building. Of course, there's still a lot we don't know about this story. As we learn more, we will be sure to update you on air and on WFA.com. Reporting here in Dallas, I'm Sydney Persing. Oh, that happened on Ackert Street? I know that street, dude. I told y'all I used to live in there. It's something going on with y'all downtown, bro. Like, what's going on, dude? Why is it somebody always shooting near uh, Ackert Station? When I was living out there, uh, it was a guy shooting up a, a, a protest rally. And it was right down the street from the Ackert Station. Well, I remember because I always used to stop at that subway. Like, dang, dude, I can't even enjoy my subway without downtown Dallas being shot up. That Ackert Street is cursed, dude. But a lot of people was ready to blame this on the man. Oh, it must be domestic violence. Be ready to blame something on the man. Mm -mm -mm. Don't even know the backstory. It's already a dude's fault. But as you can see, the suspect, she was a female as well, 26 year old. She claims that the woman she shot used to harass her. She was harassing her. And I guess this was a quote unquote get back. And also she claims that she had mental illness. I checked out this girl Instagram page. She doesn't seem to be a bully or anything. So I don't know, you can believe what you want. Me personally, no disrespect. After I saw the mug shot, I came to the conclusion. This girl was probably just jealous of this other girl. Jealous because her look, her talent, all the attention she was getting. And I think she just crashed out. This happens more often than you think. A lot of people love the pretty girls, but a lot of people hate the pretty girls as well. And this is not gender specific. But yeah, people be real life hating on you, man. You never know. Just jealous as hell. Mad because you got what they want. Now I'm not saying for a fact that's the case here. I'm just making assumptions. But trying to kill somebody because they was harassing you. This girl at the most, and I mean soaking wet, right? She's a good 120 pounds, man. You mean to tell me she was harassing? She was bullying this big my bad, y'all. I almost got out of my car. You mean to tell me that little bitty, 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 bitty woman was harassing this real big, 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 this real big, 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 big lady? I just don't believe that, dude. And I don't believe the mental illness claim either. She just crashed out. That's it. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram, TCF Baby 252 The witnesses that was there, they said this lady was moving like a robot. She was real robotic. And she was just off the entire show. More specifically, before the shooter. This is strange, man. This, this type of stuff just made me want to stay in the house. You can't even go see people sing anymore, dude. Like, right, dang. He over here shooting up the place like this a little baby concert, dude. She act like Gucci just performed True. Like Chief Keefe just performed for Nito. Like, dude, this is an R&B show. Relax. But I'm gone. Hey, bitch, I'm in the streets.
Fuck this in the street, bitch. I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street, bitch. I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street, bitch. I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street.